Hi, this is Brother K, and once again, welcome to Fresh Fire Prayer Line, where we keep the fire of the Holy Spirit burning. Today is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. If you just entered into this new year, 2013, then Happy New Year. Uh, today, I just want to share with you some predictions or forecast for the year 2013. For the Bible makes us to understand that the children of Issachar understood the times. I believe that as children of God, God doesn't want us to be in the dark or ignorant about things yet to be revealed or to happen. God has a way of revealing to us things to come. That's what the Bible says, that when He, the Holy Spirit, comes, He will reveal to you things to come. So as a child of God, um, there are things that will happen that you will not be in the dark or ignorant. God will at least give you a glimpse of what is about to happen. So today I share with you some glimpse of what you can expect in the year 2013 trending. And um, uh, it, in this year, I feel it's going to be a year of victory. It's a year of victory for the sons and daughters of Zion. Victory for the sons and daughters of Zion. People have been redeemed by the precious blood of Christ. People who are worshipping Jesus Christ in truth and in spirit. People who have consecrated, separated themselves unto God. It is a year of victory. It's a year of victory over sin and the powers of darkness. It is a year of victory because they overcame the devil by the blood of the Lamb and the words of their testimony. Even in the face of death, they did not love their lives. It's so, they, they are so victorious that even when they die, they will resurrect and be in the presence of God, still victorious because they belong to Christ. So I declare that 2013 is a year of victory. For the sons and daughters of Zion. For the Bible says that arise and shine for thy light is come. And the glory, the glory, the chicken and glory of the Lord shall be risen upon you. So I know that this year will be a year where the glory of the Lord will be upon the children of God. Upon in the world there will be chaos, confusion, wars, uh, economic meltdown, economic depression, economic recession and all those kind of things. But upon the children of God, oh, the Lord God Almighty, in spite of what may be going through, He will keep, preserve His children. It is in two folds. It's a year of victory for the sons and daughters of Zion, but it is a, it is a season and a year of war, a year of doom, a year of commotion and confusion a year of catastrophic <laughs> event for the world things will get worse things is going to get worse from 2011 and 12 you know things are just getting worse by the day you know and you don't have to let me tell you just go and switch your television on your tv and you will see what's going on in the news Chaos in the Arab world just a few months ago and years ago. Occupy Wall Street, you know, economic meltdown, recession, unemployment. Today, how many people are having degrees, masters, doctorate, and are without jobs? People, divorce, separation, confusion everywhere. So, I don't have to tell you that the world is getting worse and worse, and we are to expect it. It is inevitable. Nothing is going to change it. No prayers is going to change it because as we are heading towards the end of the world and the soon return of Jesus Christ, these things must happen. Don't allow any prosperity gospel preacher to tell you that oh, the, the world is going to get better. It's not going to get better because according to scripture, it is to be going down and down until great tribulation affects the whole of human race. But there is, there, is, there, is, there is hope for believers that even whether you are in the midst of the problems, God is still merciful and gracious and He will help you. I'm not saying that trials will not come to Christians, problems. Some pre Christians will go through problems, difficulties, trials. 
tribulations, but Jesus will be with them. That's what I'm saying. It's a year of victory. Our victory is not the way the world thinks. Our victory is in Christ. In Christ Jesus. He gives us the overcomer's grace. So these are some of the forecasts for the year 2000. So the year of 2013 is a year of victory for the redeemed and the year of doom for the world. First, it's victory over sin and victory over the powers of darkness. This year, God is going to call out more sanctified, separated, radical believers who are going to come out from the uh, wishy-washy, roller coaster, lukewarm, religious Christianity. And it's going to be breeding very radical, seasoned, fervent Christians who are serious to worship Him in truth and in spirit. And their victory will be to overcome sin and overcome the powers of darkness. This year you will see a lot of people emerging who are going to be crushing the enemy under their foot and have and also bring deliverance to many. It's a year of victory over sin and the powers of darkness. It is also a year, that's the first one. The second one it is the year of great falling away. Great falling away. This year a lot of people will lose their faith and their salvations and their love for the things of God. The world is going to sweep many into them. People love for God, love for church, love for Bible studies, love for the things of God will was called. The Bible says that in the love of many will was called. People will be lovers of themselves than the things of God. People will rather enjoy watching American Idol, watching basketball, watching playing Nintendo, going to the gloss, um, going to the stores, to the malls and to be with their friends and buddies than being in the presence of God. There will be a lot of falling away. Many people will be falling away from their feet because they will lose. The devil is going to cause people to backslide and fall. That's why I gave people the three most important prayers. The three most important prayers in the year 2013. It is there. Search it out and you'll find it and listen to it. There will be a, people will lose their feet and it will cause people to lose their first love people by slide and fall. You see people who were once a radical and doing that and then suddenly they've lost their faith and they are now lukewarm. They don't like to serve the Lord anymore because the devil is going to release a lot of demons to catch people in temptations. People will be trapped into temptations. They will be trapped by the devil. The devil will use bait to trap and entice people into the things of the world. Be careful, lest you also fall. Three, it is going to be a year, as we have been seeing over the over many years now. Deception will be on increment. Deception, there will be deception as it's going on. People not preaching the truth. People not emphasizing on holiness, righteousness. We only emphasizing on prosperity gospel and what God can do for you and without you living a holy life and preparing for the soon return of Jesus Christ. Deception, false prophets, false teachers false doctrines, doctrines of demons who is increasing and it's going to go higher and higher. Infiltration in our churches, contamination, pollution. Many pastors are polluted, contaminated. They have the anointing but they are disconnected from God because their ways are not right with God. So if you are following them, you are going down the drain with them. They will creep into the churches. Most of our churches are already dead. I don't have to talk to you about these things. But the Bible says that out of even though deception, infiltration, contamination, pollution is desecrating the church, as I told you, God is going to bring out the remnant, the elect who are going to stand out and say, like Daniel, they will not defile themselves with the food. Then Daniel resolved in his heart not to defile himself, like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They will stand for God and say, We will not bow down to the image. Some strong radical Christians are coming out of the religious church mentality system, worship and praises and dancing and still fornicating and adultery and living anyhow, worldly things and money consciousness and all these things. Some people are going to be serious with God in spite of the contamination and infiltration. The fourth, the fourth one, God will take idols from people and suspend many people's blessing. God is going to take idols. Do you know what? God was telling me, son, I have made so many people prosperous and okay in life. 
have made open doors for them and the very things i bless them with has become their idols so this year god is going to take idols from people and suspend their blessings and that is how it's going to cause people to return back to their first love there is somebody here in the sound of my voice god has been good to you open doors for you it could be true marriage or finances or work or whatever and the very thing that was meant to be a blessing has now become a curse has become an idol because of that you are giving excuse behind excuse why you can't effectively give your hundred percent love for god oh because of my job oh because of my uh, schedule oh because of this i can't pray i can't read my bible i don't have time for this i don't have time you have time for everything god says that this year he's going to suspend and take these idols these blessings which hold them back from people so some people will be coming pray for me pray for me the satan is attacking my marriage satan is attacking my finances satan is attacking my children satan is not attacking god has allowed the enemy to attack because you have made those things your idols you have become so comfortable in your blessings to the extent that it has prevented you from serving the most high god with all your heart all your soul and all your mind when you did you didn't have those things you were aggressive you were crazy you were you, you were zealous for god when things got better you have lost your first love so it is going to be suspended and withhold and then you will see how many people will be rushing to prayers rushing to the churches it is going to cause some revival to the body of christ and so when such people come I know you, the Lord has suspended and taken your blessings and your idols in order to save your soul. For some of you, God loves you so much to see the very things he has blessed you to take you to hell because you have idolized the blessing and you have neglected the blesser. Remember, it is God who made you who you are. So today, if those things are blocking you, now your husband has become your idol so you don't want to now have time for things of god your children and your finances and your health and your okay 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 you know who i'm speaking to god says that 2013 i god will suspend and take these idols and you see people coming and blaming the devil it's not the devil it is you for failing to recognize that god blessed you for a season and a reason for you to serve him more but you have made these things idols. You have time for everything except things of God. You have time for uh, I, American idols, soap operas, and going to the malls and being with friends. But you don't have time to pray. You don't have time to read the Bible. You don't have time to fast. You don't have time to go to church. You don't have time to give your material gain to the things of God. <laughs> it's going to be suspended and withhold in the year 2013. The next one, in this year 2013, my friend, I'm telling you, we are going to be going through what we've been seeing from two, September 11th, which is going through till now, whereby there's confusion everywhere. Things are becoming tough. Things are going to be so tough. People be just don't know what to do with their lives. The key in 2013 is the just shall live by faith the just shall live by faith those who know their god they shall be strong and do exploit if you don't learn how to live by faith man shall not live by bread alone by your paycheck by your job by your finances your your your, your fiscal things but by every word it is going to take those who are living by the word of God who are going to survive this year. That's why the Bible says in Joshua chapter 1 verse 8, This book shall not depart from you, but you shall be careful to obey it and to do according, carefully everything that is written in it, that you may make your ways prosperous and be successful. If you want to be breakthrough this year, you have to live by faith. Otherwise, the things you are hearing, the things you'll be seeing and the things you will be experiencing 
will be too overwhelming that you will give up. And if you give up, it is doubt, unbelief, you will sink. But if you have faith in the word of the Lord, in Christ Jesus, then when the devil throws all the fiery doubts and problems and issues of life at you, you will quench all the fiery doubts of the enemy with the shield of faith in Christ. Without faith this year, many will not be able to survive because the world is going to go through a lot of problems. Next is health. God is telling me, son, the devil will be attacking a lot of even believers through health. So this year, all of us, let's learn to eat well, exercise, and take care of our body. Lest the enemy takes advantage of our ignorance of not taking care of our body, eating right. I'm the number one. You've been telling me about eating right and taking care of ourselves because the enemy will be releasing sicknesses and diseases and infirmities into the world and so if you give him a little bit space he will come in and because you don't exercise you're not eating right you are eating fries and uh, saturated oils and all the fatty diet and you no know, so the doctor will say you know what you have uh, uh, arrhythmias a heart uh, clock uh, clocks uh, clots in your in, in your arteries or in your in your heart uh, and you know because of that you know you have, that's why you're having the heart attack or brain tumor stroke or whatever you will be giving reasons behind reasons why you are sick and you have to die or why you have diabetes why you have high blood pressure because the enemy is going to use the ignorance of us not taking care of our health so God is warning the body of Christ that in the year 2013 let's begin to exercise eat right drink water fast Wait up for him and we energize our health, our body. Your body is the temple of God. The devil will be releasing a lot of sicknesses and diseases. Let me talk about sicknesses. You know, from last year, the enemy was throwing serious sickness into the system. And with women, some of us, we just embrace, oh, I have breast cancer, I have, uh, cancer of the lungs or cancer. Not all cancers are normal. Most cancers are orchestrated or are, are released from the pit of hell. Especially women, the enemy is going to be releasing a lot of cancer into the woman. So be praying. Anytime you are praying, pray and rebuke, resist that, that demon releasing the spirit of cancer. And if you have cancer, rebuke it in Jesus' name and it will go away. Um, at an attack of sicknesses, especially cancer to women. You no, know, breast cancer and those, you no. Know, just be praying against it. Refuse it. Reject it. It is not your portion. You have no covenant with cancer this year. And if you have it, pray and say, Lord, your word says that by my stripes I'm healed. The devil will be releasing a lot of sicknesses into the body of Christ, into Christians. That's why we have to always remember to plead the blood. And through the blood, receive our healing and deliverance. Wait, don't wait until you become sick before you pray for healing. Pray every day for healing, health, vitality, long life, good health. Don't wait until you become sick. Pray against sickness and you'll get perfect health. And even if you are not doing things right, which is going to cause the sickness, because the devil wants to use your ignorance, God will remind you, son, the way you are living your life, the way you are eating, your way, the way you are not exercising, the way you are drinking too much soda, the way you are eating so too much fatty, it's going to kill you. The Holy Spirit will remind you of your errors so that you can correct it. It's very critical. Sickness will be released so much to take many people's life prematurely. Sickness will be released to take people's life prematurely. That's why God is warning us. Don't Take care of your health. Don't blame the devil. The devil is going to use your own appetite. Some of us, we like food too much. And we don't want to fast. When I declare fast, people don't want to fast. It will help you. Apart from spiritual enrichment, at least it will help you to reduce some weight. Okay, okay. Now the next one is marriage. I think that's the fifth. Let me see, four, six. Yeah, the sixth one is marriage 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 as as you can know statistically everyone every out of every two marriages one will end up in divorce this thing called divorce separation confusion misunderstanding lack of communication uh, runaway husbands and all those things they are not of god people come in they want me to side with them so that they can divorce i don't i don't uh, endorse and i don't uh, agree with people to divorce I, I don't believe in divorce 
That's that's it. I don't I don't believe in divorce. God says I hate divorce. I want to hate it. And I'm not saying that because you are divorced, it's no, no, no. I'm just saying that don't come and give me reasons behind, oh God, but I can't this day, no, so I want to. The first place, some of us went to pick our own choice. God, you we knew very well that this man was, wasn't was a believer. And we went in to pick the man. We made our choice and we, whatever we, 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 we you sow, it, it's what you reap. And now you are reaping the benefit of what you have soon and now you want to quit you don't have to quit you have to pray that god will change your husband or wife the lord says that if you can be submissive and humble and pray god will restore the marriage i that's my philosophy so please some of you don't come on trying to get me to send with you to divorce it is your own problem i'm not i'm not into the, the divorce sometimes i don't know about that but i don't divorce is the attack of the enemy against the body of Christ. Demons are released. Some of them have a tail of like a scorpion. And once they hit your marriage, boom. The next time, even if you have been married for 50 years, 60 years, divorce. So please, as I speak about these things, we all have to pray and cover our marriages under the blood of Jesus. And constantly pray against these demons. Strong demons have been released to break marriages. Marriage breaking demons, Asmodeus and Osmodeus, Incubus and Sacabus. They are very serious demons. Some of them are principalities, Asmodeus and Osmodeus. And they are in to wreck, break, break separation, divorce. They believe their philosophy is divide and conquer. Because they know that one will kill a thousand, two will kill ten thousand. When husband and wife meet together and begin to pray, ah, many things happen. They can bring up godly children who shake the world. So divide and conquer. If we can divide husband and wife, we can divide the children. We can divide the fabric of our society and the country. Divide and conquer. And once they cause divorce, 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 they are making God angry at us, angry to the nation, so that the wrath of God will come. Divorce, divorce, divorce. So please. I'm saying this to tell you that always when you are praying, soak your marriage under the blood of Jesus. Because I've seen people who are married to 60 years, twice my age, who are now going to divorce. Because the enemy is coming in like a lion seeking for him whom he may devour. If you don't resist him, he will wreck your marriage. So don't think I'm all, no. Pray against divorce. The devil is against is after our marriages. All of us. Recently, Benny him. Benihin, 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 with all the struggles he's going through with his wife, divorced. Only God brought them back together. So, nobody is excused. We all have to pray and soak our marriages. Lest we become a victim. And even if you have divorced, if you can pray and believe, God can restore and replace. That's all I believe. That's my philosophy. I may be wrong, but that's my philosophy. So, can, let's pray. Divorce will be on, a, on an increase. That's what God wants us to watch. The seventh one, I think, is many people in this year, unexpected, people you are not expecting to be saved, will be saved. God will be reaching out to people you never thought could come into Christianity. God is going to reach out to the outcast, reach out to the prostitute, reach out to the gangsters, reach out to stubborn children, disobedient children, disobedient, uh, adulterous uh, uh, husbands. Jesus God is going to win people who we never thought could become Christian. And when they come in, they will be much more faithful and radical for God. Some of us who we are in already, we are not serious with God. God is going to reach out to the unexpected people we never thought they could be Christians. So be ready to hear people you've never, you were not imagining to become Christians, to become Christian. God is going to save them. And God is also going to bring salvation to our family. So this year, as one of your prayers, pray always for your family members that God will bring them to, to the saving knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. On, our, on my prayer line, every year we write five prayer requests which the Lord want, we want the Lord to do for us. This year, write down your five prayer requests. Every time we meet on Tuesdays and Fridays to pray, you are welcome. To, we will spend some time praying about it. And we are also going to pray for family members who we want God, family members, friends and loved ones who we want the Lord to save see get saved and we also intercede so join us every tuesdays and fridays on our prayer line for prayers the information are there for you to find out the next one is it's a year of power and might 
God's power and God's might. God will be demonstrating in this end times that the enemy is going to come in fiercely, ferociously, angry, angrily to destroy. So God will also come in like you know, when Pharaoh brought his best, God had to bring his best. God is going to bring signs and wonders, miracles, healing, deliverance to the next level in this year and moving forward. We are moving to the, the days of signs and wonders, miracles. And as you are seeing the signs and wonders, not every signs and wonders are orchestrated by the Holy Spirit. Some people who are going to for powers from the occultic world, from the marine kingdom, and to use the name Jesus Christ. But their source is not from God. So be discerning who you are listening to and who is praying for you. Because not everybody who says Christ, Christ Jesus, Jesus is of the Lord. But there will be great move of the Spirit of God in the world. Expect little from your government, for they will not deliver. Don't expect too too much from your government, and don't uh, blame don't blame Obama. Don't blame Obama because if you blame Obama, you have to go and blame the the president of uh, Egypt, the president in Kuwait, the president in Syria, the pre president in Australia, the pre everywhere you go, people, every the government, the politicians do not have answers. They are all going down. They are all. They don't have. They don't have solutions to the, for their problem. So don't uh, isolate Obama and say he's the Antichrist. He's the one who is doing this. No politician have answers because the world is going down. They are, the world itself is getting itself ready for the soon return of Jesus Christ. So, so some of you are expecting so much from Obama. Obama, yeah, change is coming. Uh, he can't deliver. He will not be able to help you, not because he's Obama. He's going to work hard and do his best for the nation, but it's just that he can't. Today, how many people, how many of our youth are out of our school, our schools with bachelor's, doctorate, master's, and yet still cannot find jobs? We have almost 25 million people without jobs. Um, today, one out of every seven is living in poverty line. You no, know, it, it is pathetic, and it is not even if. Uh, uh, whoever Mitch Romney has won the same situation unemployment so don't expect too much from the government be like David lift up your eyes onto the hills from whence cometh your help your help come from the Lord the Lord God Almighty who made the heavens and the earth you will not suffer your food to be moved if you put your trust and confidence on your politicians they will greatly disappoint you but those who put their trust in the Lord will never be put to shame that's what I'm saying that just shall live by faith the government will fill you that's why in this year too, you will see people um, go, doing peaceful routing or protests, going to the street. And all over the world, you will see people going to the street protesting because their government are not delivering. We saw that this year last year with Occupy Wall Street, Occupy Denver, Occupy Oakland, whereby the police were using tear gas and pepper spraying, beating people with uh, their the sticks and all those things. Because people were fed up. Or the fact that the nation wasn't delivering, the stock market were crashing, politicians, you know, the banking system were failing, they were in debt, bankruptcy, nothing was working out. So those who are putting their trust in government, they will fail you totally in every nation, in every nation, in every nation. And I know what I'm talking about because even though I'm in the United States, I'm connected to the other nations. And all the nations of the world are suffering. Last year we could hear about Euro, 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 how the Euro nations were going down and it took, and, and, and they had to balance things, to uh, adjust things, to make it look like things are okay. From this year you see them going back in the Arab, Arab nations. There was a routing, somebody set himself on fire because he couldn't even get food to eat. So things are going to get bad. Also, the next level is you'll be hearing more of wars. Rumors of wars and violence, wars, rumors of wars, civil wars, sniper, and all those wars, bloodshed, bloodshed will be on increment. Bloodshed will be on increment. There will be more wars, more wars, more wars. Today we are seeing more blood being shed in the Arab nations. Very soon, it will not be just centered around the Middle East in areas in the Arab nations. We will be seeing it infiltrating into every part africa north america america because when the people become fed up frustrated because they are not getting jobs they are starving food shortage drought they'll go to the street and they'll be start protesting and the 
um, the government will begin to crack them down and to begin violence, people corruption. It was going to escalate all over the world. That we saw a glimpse of it when we began to see Walk by Wall Street, Oakland. But as we are moving forward, you'll be seeing more of these things happening. And it is global. It is global. It's global. Global. There will be more wars, rumors of wars. What is going on in is Syria? If God does not have mercy on us, and right now that Israel, Obama has won. Israel is going to come back to him and say, you know what? We want you to go and stop their weapons of uh, the, uh, their nuclear weapons. They are trying to manufacture whatever, and then they are going to pressurize Obama and use the United States as a front to go in to silence Iran. Iran will try to protect and it's going to bring more conflict between the Western world, the Eastern world, nations like Japan, uh, nations like Syria, Iran, uh, Russia and China are going to side and then nations like Israel, America and the European nations are going to be on one side. If we don't take care, it will trigger a series of third world war or wars which will, will going to blow the world apart. These are some things we, we can be expecting. Very soon you see how the Israelis are going to be putting pressure on America to um, stop Iran because Iran are bent on uh, developing their nuclear you no know, their nuclear weapons. And even though they are saying they are not going to use it, um, Israel feel threatened and they want to stop them. It's going to bring conflict to the whole world. Okay, the next one is there has been a crack on the wall of the United States. Why? Because we have allowed ourselves, we by our choice, have made some decisions which are abominable to God. Things like gay rights. And our president is a champion of the gay rights. Today, even in the capital, Maryland, DC area, they have now endorsed gays and lesbians can marry. Now, Massachusetts and many, many of the states are developing with this gay rights movement. Africans, they are even going to Africa telling African presidents that if you don't give our gay their, their rights, we are not going to give you funds. Or they are increasing. What it has done is that it has opened a crack on the wall. And when you have a, a house and your wall has cracks, roaches and, and um, rats and mouses and all sort of things begin to creep in and also abortion and all those things that's why today we see our sons and daughters being killed by our own people people going to theaters shooting people going to schools shooting killing themselves because there's a crack on the wall it has made us vulnerable and the enemy is using our own disobedience against us so that's why you see all these things going on there's a crack on the wall it's going to bring more killings and chaos within interior conflict interior chaos interior because we have missed our mark with god there's a crack on the wall unless we repent and turn back to our first love with god judgment is beginning judgment is beginning the crack in the wall has also brought is bringing an increase in tornadoes just last year there was more than 500 tornadoes tornadoes destroying millions of properties and yet we say we, we are we are not rich you no know, imagine just imagine the number of people who are poor and these millions if it can it, it would have used to help them but tornadoes are just destroying these millions of properties earthquakes were on increment hurricanes sandy and rain and all these things are increasing you no know, because there's a crack drought Farmers are not harvesting because there's no rain. It's going to bring about food shortage, increase of food prices. There's going to be a possibility of future recession, depression, and hyperinflation. All these are to be expected as we move forward into this year. This year too, you will see the mighty fall. Many people would think they are mighty, whether they are men of God or uh, political figures or Hollywood stars and they feel that they are above the law they will you see the mighty fall because god will humble such individuals and god will let them know that he is god revival will break out in the arab nations even though there's chaos 
revival salvation god is going to reach out to such nations there's hope for north korea also and countries which have never heard the word of god you are going to hear great revival taking place in such nations because god is going to reach out to such nations because the coming of jesus christ is at hand the glory of the lord will be spreading to other nations god god is going to also visit nations who are not repentant if people, nation repent god will visit them okay this is basically what i have for you and some reflections you have to be looking forward in the year 2013 it is going to be a great year for a victorious year for those who trust god but it is going to be a year of doom and disaster for those of you who are always prepping it's good to prep but the greatest prepping is knowing Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. And the time to do so is now because the world is coming to an end. And Jesus Christ is not going to ask your, your permission or take, look at your schedule before he comes. He will come unaware, unannounced. So make sure that you are ready. We are living in dangerous and frightening times. You need Jesus Christ to be your Lord and Savior so that you can have eternal life. Anyone who accepts Jesus Christ as his Lord and personal Savior will have eternal life. If you reject him. You will die in your sin. Very soon Jesus Christ is coming to uh, take his bride, the redeemed, those who have accepted him and are living for him. This is not a time for lukewarmness, hypocritical Christianity. There is time for you to worship Jesus Christ in truth and in spirit. Come out from sin, come out from the world system, come out from religion and be serious with Jesus Christ and you will have eternal life. If you continue in your sin, you will die in your sin and you end up in a place called hell where you spend the rest of your life in constant torment, misery, and in anguish. May that never be your portion. If you accept Jesus now and you receive him into your life and you live for him, you have eternal life and you'll be in the presence of God. It is also a good time for the preppers because whenever there are things like earthquakes, tornadoes, air tremors, uh, hurricanes, uh, tsunamis, uh, the first aid kits are there to help us and because we, there is going to be an increment on these things It is good to be prepared get food water extra you no know, canned food canned water uh, water uh, First aid kit, you know, and just make you know light touch light when it happened when Sunday happened I remember going for extra touch light and I couldn't even find any in the whole of my area I went to all the stores they have run out of batteries and they have run out of touch light. That's how when this uh, catastrophic event happens, things can run out of the market so quickly. So do best to make sure you have um, batteries, touch lights, uh, you have water, you have food, and you have um, some basic necessity of surviving kits. So that in case of emergency, uh, it can hold you for two weeks, one week, when there's a, a shortage of light light and some people even you have to even show your gas if they want you ahead of time because some people couldn't go to move their cars because they had run out of gas because all the gas stations were empty these are some of the things you'll be expecting so to be for one is to be for armed but the greatest preparation is to know jesus christ as your lord and personal savior may god bless you and have a victorious year with christ jesus bye Hi, this is some quick announcement. Um, join us every Tuesdays and Fridays for the conference prayer on the prayer line. Every Tuesdays from 10 p.m. Eastern Time we meet. Eastern Time is 10 p.m. Um, Central Time is 9 p.m. Uh, Mountain Standard Time is 8 p.m. and Pacific time is 7 p.m. We meet every Tuesday for prayers. So make sure you join us. A lot of people watch the prayers on YouTube. However, they don't know that we do meet live every Tuesdays and Fridays. So Tuesdays, we meet 10 p.m. Eastern time, 9 p.m. Central time, 8 p.m. Mountain Standard Time and 7 p.m. Pacific Time and on Friday That's just for one hour on Tuesdays. We meet just for one hour on Tuesday uh, Tuesdays. However on Friday, it's our 
deliverance, miracle and healing prayers. So if you want deliverance, miracle and healing, you can join us on the conference call live on Fridays also, which is three hours. And we meet 11, uh, 11 p.m. Eastern Time, 10 p.m. Central Time, 9 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, and 8 p.m. Pacific Time. So on Fridays is our deliverance, healing, and miracle uh, prayers, and it's for three hours. So make sure you join us. I repeat again, Fridays is 11 p.m. We start at 11 p.m. Eastern Time, 10 p.m. Central Time, 9 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, and 8 p.m. Pacific Time. So do join us, and the number you you have to call is five five nine. Seven two six one two zero zero five five nine seven two six one two zero zero and the access code is nine five zero zero one four pound nine five zero zero one four pound join us on Tuesdays and Fridays for prayers Tuesdays is one hour Fridays is three hours and you will be blessed also, if you are you want to join us through uh, and you are calling from outside of the United States, you can also call us. Use your Skype. The Skype, my Skype is K Boache, K A Y B O A C H I E, K A Y B O A C H I E. Skype is also a, an easy way if you are having a long distance call. You can use the Skype to have access to the live conference. Also, for those of you who, for some reason, cannot be on the phone, but you want to hear the live or the pre-recorded version of the prayers, you can now go to Blog Talk Radio and also watch us uh, or listen to the prayers. If you want to just listen to it and still do what you have to do, because some of you may be working and want to still hear what's going on, you can go to www blogtalkradio.com slash kweku buache and the kweku is k-w-a-k-u and the buache is b-o-a-c-h-i so www.blogtalkradio.com slash kweku buache k-w-a-k-u that's the kweku and the buache is b-o-a-c-h-i um, all this information if you want to get it you can email me at o o k a k u fifty five at yahoo dot com o o k a k u fifty five at yahoo dot com and I can send you this information or Facebook me on k k a y b and the last name is Boachi b o a c h i k Boachi k k a y b o a c h i e or you can call me and I'll give you the information on 443-975-5303. I'll, I'll leave all this information at the end of this message. I'll write it down so that you can um, see it again. Also, you can check us on our website if you want more information or the things I've already given you. And our website is www freshfireprayer.com our website is www.freshfireprayer www.freshfireprayer.com and all this information are out there for you to get access to also for those of you who are living in Maryland, Virginia Baltimore and close by um, from the year 2013, the first Sunday, we are now will be meeting regularly every Sunday, every Sunday, 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. for prayers. So it's called an, the Hour of Power Prayers, Hour of Power Prayers, and an intensive prayers. And you can come in and come in expecting anything because I believe that prayers covers all things. So if you want healing deliverance, uh, restoration, miracles, 
if you want to be revived, you, if you want to get yourself empowered in prayers, to get the presence of God, to move in the next level with your relationship with Jesus Christ through prayers, join us every Sunday, 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. And the location is in uh, Walker Mills Baptist Church. Walker Mills Baptist Church. And the address is 6801 6801 Walker Mills Road. The Walker is just walking. Walker W A L K G R. Walker Mills M I L L Road. It is in Capital Heights. Capital Heights. C A P I T A L. And the height is H E I G H T S. Capital Heights, Maryland. And the zip code is 2042. 20743 20743 so join us every Sunday up in the year 2013 moving forward every Sunday 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. and the location is Walker Mills Baptist Church located in 68 Walker Mills Road Capital Heights Maryland 20743 that is where we'll be meeting so join us and you'll be immensely blessed i also want to let you know that in the year 2013 we'll be having three major meetings and the first one the first meeting will be held in february 15th to 17th and it's called the hour of power the hour of power with Jesus Christ you know, meeting or conference or where we meet uh, and, and everybody's open um, is welcome to join us it's more or less like a revival or a, I wouldn't say revival either. with Fresh Fire Ministry we believe in getting yourself revived every day so it is a time where we meet to have intensive fellowship on the, our first meeting God willing will be on February 5th, February 15th to 17th from Friday to Sunday. The Monday is going to be a holiday and I, I can say for certain that um, this meeting, the first one, um, those of you having challenge with pregnancy, come in and let's believe God because once you come in and we pray, we believe God that by the end of the year, God will open up your womb. It's also going to be a time for people who are singles and want to get settled, come in. It is, it's for everybody. It's for everybody. But if you, are, if you find yourself with um, barrenness or you are looking for it, to settle maritally, uh, I recommend you also come in. And as we, we do intensive prayers, and also if you need... If you want to go to the next level in your prayer life and in your relationship with Jesus Christ through prayers, I will advise you to come because it will be a time for healing, deliverance, restoration of marriages. We will cover everything. We will cover everything. But I, advise, I, I admonish singles and the barren also to make sure they show up so that they will be blessed. But if you want to go to the next level in your ministry, uh, it's a non a, a, Fresh Family Ministries is non-denominational, so if you are a prophetess, you are a pastor, you are a pastor, whatever, and you want to go to the next level in your prayer life, I believe that an hour of power with Jesus Christ meeting will help you that by the time you go back, you will be carrying the power of God to go and revive and also take your ministry to the next level. So I welcome you February. And our meeting place, I believe, will be at... Walker Mills Baptist Church 6801 Walker Mills Baptist Church it is the address is 6801 Walker Mills Road Capital Heights MD 20743 the same location you can find this information in our website which is www.freshfireprayer.com www.freshfireprayer.com so that you can 
know what's taking place and our next meeting will be on may hour of power whereby it's open to everybody hour of power with jesus christ the meetings the crusade or the conference is open to everybody uh, if you are even out of state the next one will be may 24th may to 26th 24 to 26 from friday to sunday and the monday is holiday and also come in and you'll be blessed and the last one will be in october 11th to october 13th october 11th to october 13th and the monday uh, friday to sunday and the monday is a holiday and for now all the meeting place i know for now is in the Walker mills baptist church which is located in 68 Walker Mills Road, Capital Heights, Maryland 20743. Uh, to make sure you, you know the date and the location is right, make sure you frequent our uh, website to make sure that you update yourself. And if you have any questions about these um, conferences and these crusades and uh, Call me on 443-973, let me repeat, 443-975-5303, 443-975-5303, call me and let, um, ask me about the, the details of these meetings and I'll let you know, or you can email me on OOKAKU. 55 at yahoo.com o o k a k u 55 at yahoo.com or you can facebook me at k the first name is k k a y k a y the last name is watch b o a c h i e you can facebook me and ask me and if you are willing to come also send me an email and let me know you are coming or facebook that you are coming and we'll also let you know where to get accommodation it is free it is free but you have to be prepared to get a place to rent to sleep during the um, three days program and I tell you the truth you will not waste your coming to these programs because in the year 2013 we are moving into the deeps we are moving into the deeps and a lot of things will be happening in our in this time in this year and we have to hold on to God through faith and believe God. The Bible says that the just shall live by faith. The just shall live by faith. And those who know their God, they shall be strong and they shall do exploit. The Bible says that on the face of the earth there shall be gross darkness. There shall be darkness on the face of the earth. But arise and shine for your light is come. So I believe these meetings are when we we'll call upon the name of the Lord to save us, to help us, to help us to be able to fulfill his purpose for us in the year also if you are interested in getting the book spiritual diagnosis which deals with helping you to diagnose some of the problems you are going through generational cases breaking jukes breaking yourself from the spirit of Leviathan or serpent you know all these deliverance prayers and all those things you can order spiritual diagnosis some of you are going through so many problems and you don't even know where the problem is coming from spiritual diagnosis will help you to diagnose the problem you are going through and most of my prayers is the prayers we do on Fridays and Tuesdays is channeled on deliverance and spiritual diagnosis so if you get a book it will help you to diagnose to locate to discover what is really wrong with the foundations of your problem so that when you are praying you pray right many people are praying and are still in problem because they are not praying the right prayers or are not locating the right source of problem you know so buy the book spiritual diagnosis it's ten dollars but with shipping and everything fifteen dollars and i'll send you the book um, if you want you are interested in the spiritual diagnosis book you can email me o o k a k u 55 at yahoo.com and let me know and I'll send you a copy. I'll let you know how you can pay for it. The email is o o k a k u 55 at yahoo.com or you can Facebook me at k k a y b o a c h i e 
K is the first name K A Y. The last name is Boache. B O A C H I E. And I'll get you the information. However, make sure if you are in Maryland, Virginia, Baltimore, DC, join us every Sunday from in the year 2013 from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. in Walker Mills Baptist Church. 6801 Walker Mills Road, Capital Heights, Maryland, 20743. That's the zip code, 20743. I will write all the information out there so that you can join us and you'll be blessed. Join us also on Tuesdays and Fridays and you'll be blessed. And if you have a, an emergency, you can also give me a call on 443-975-5303. However, if you call and you don't get me, leave a message or call back, try and call back. We have a lot of people calling me and sometimes I'm not able to get hold on them on timely fashion, but keep on calling. And if you don't get me, make sure you join us on Tuesdays and Fridays. You always get me or if you are around the area, join us on Fridays and you get me and then I can be of great help to you. But your main helper is our Lord Jesus Christ. Develop a life of prayer for yourself. The key to success in deliverance, in breakthrough, healing, and getting connected is consistency and persistence. You have to be consistent and you have to be, have a persistent, consistent prayer life. And then you can have victory over the enemy. I wish you all the best and I wish you the Lord's blessing and may the Lord keep you. Remember Jesus Christ is on his way and is coming soon. He will take us by surprise. Nobody knows the day or the time is coming. And his coming will interrupt with your schedule and my schedule. So make sure that every single day of your life, you are ready for Jesus. If you don't know Jesus, then this is the time for you to accept him into your life as your Lord and personal Savior. So that you will not be left behind. If you are a Christian, this is the time for you to hold on tight to Jesus. Because he is coming. The days of hypocrisy, wish you worship, roller coaster Christianity is over. Make sure you worship him in truth and in spirit. And you separate yourself from the world. Separate yourself from your sins. And with your things that are weighing you down. And walk with God. Without holiness, nobody can see God. This is a call for this end time. Our redemption is right now. And we have to lift up our heads. And wait patiently for the manifestation of our Lord Jesus Christ. Those who have Jesus will have life. Have life and have life much more abundantly. Those who have rejected Jesus Christ are already condemned. In this year that we are, have entered in 2013, moving forward, great tribulations lies ahead of the world. It will only take those who hold on to God who are going to survive. Those who depend on their own wisdom, intelligence, and are already claimed Christians and the things of God, they are going to be taken by, by surprise. Your help is in the Lord. So hold on tight to our Lord Jesus Christ and He will help you. When you call upon Him, He will answer you. But the Bible says that call upon the name of the Lord. And you will be saved. Call, ask, and it shall be given. Seek, and it shall find not, and the door shall be opened unto you. So please, if you don't know Jesus, accept him today. If you know Christ, hold on to him and serve him. Read your Bible, meditate on it, obey the word, shun evil, live a holy life, and don't play hypocrisy Christianity. Let Jesus Christ tell you, I know you not, you workers of iniquity. And you say, Jesus, didn't I prophesy, didn't I preach in your name, didn't I sing? If I give you tithe on offering and you tell you, you workers of iniquities, even though you cast demons in my name, you are still living in sin and you will, you will cast you into the lake of fire. Please don't let that be your portion. Don't let that be my portion. Let us worship God in truth and in spirit and live to magnify his name. Please, and keep the fire of the Holy Ghost burning through prayers and Bible studies and living right. May God bless you. Shalom.